What is up, people? Welcome to The Shift on YouTube. Yes, I shaved. I had to get rid of my stupid, I guess you would call it like a semi-beard. It was a beard, but it wasn't. It was, it didn't, it didn't connect like I wanted it to. So I had to, I got to shave it every now and then. I just, I just do it. Just, it bothers me. My mustache kind of like, it's just, it's too much, man. I, it, it, there's too much going on. I'm jealous of other people that have like good beards. I don't have a good beard. It sucks. It's terrible. So I got to shave it every now and then, even though I like it. I like to have the facial hair sometimes, but had to come off, man. Had to come off. So, uh, but let's get to today's topic. It is the shift on YouTube. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the shift with Francisco Rojas, the podcast on Apple, on Spotify, go make sure you do that from Simplecast. I'll have the uh, the link to the description below. Uh, last week, we talked about Garrett Cole and how basically he's turning into Rick and Keel. Yes. Weird comparison, right? But. Go listen to it, and you're going to be like, oh, Francisco knows what he's talking about. Ah. Uh, so go make sure that you go listen to that. Also talked about, uh, what was the other topic? It was Garrett Cole, and it was something else that I can't think of right this freaking moment. But I'll have it on the screen there. You're going to be like, oh, there's the topic. Francisco's stupid. He forgets, but I'll make sure I edit it to put it in there. But go listen. Uh, get to it. Get to the Shift podcast. That's once a week, uh, as long as you get uh, as well as you get a shift video once a week. Duh. That's what you're getting right now. Go make sure you watch the last video, which was Vladdy versus uh, Juan Soto. Which one would you rather have for the next 10 years? Both 23 years old. Insane. Uh, insane hitters for their age. We've all already seen it. Soto's the next Bonds. Vladdy's better, going to be better than his dad already is, pretty much. So, But speaking of insane hitters and some of the best hitters of their generation, Miguel Cabrera. Look. If you're watching this channel 99% chance you're probably a baseball fan uh and if you're not welcome to baseball and you are a baseball fan now because i'm going to entice you to be a baseball fan so welcome in welcome to the shift uh because that's what partially what this show is to do uh so miguel cabrera gets 3,000 hits the latest to get 3,000. Uh, i think pujols was the last in 2018 uh my favorite player of all time uh Glad to see him back in a Cardinal uniform for his last season. That's what it seems like. I don't know. If, did they? Did he officially announce that? If did he? Did he not? Let me know in the the comments. Did, is this Pools' his actual last year? Um, because because I think I think it is, but I could be wrong. So, but Pools, the last guy to get to three thousand hits, I believe, before Miggy. Um, I had it right in front of me. Yeah, Pools, twenty eighteen. Beltre, Adrian Beltre, twenty seventeen. Ichiro, twenty sixteen. Alex Rodriguez in 2015. So we've had five guys in the last decade. Uh, Derek Jeter was 2011, so I'm not counting that. I'm just counting 2012 to uh, 2022. So you get five guys. Um, but is this the like? Because a lot of the question that has been the the, the question that has been asked the last uh, I'd say week or so, um, you know, but right before Miggy's uh, Miggy got to 3,000, and uh, and right after um, right after it happened is the popular conversation has been, are we ever going to see another 3,000 hit guy uh, uh, again? And but real quick, just before before we get into this, um, props to Miggy. Props to Miggy. Incredible career. You get more than the golf clap. You get the big clap. You do. Miguel Cabrera, one of the best hitters of his generation. I guess you could argue just like him, Pujols, Ortiz. Uh, I'd probably put Ortiz... Number two, number three. That's that's a different. That's a different episode. That's an even different. Uh, uh, that's different content. But, um, but congrats to Miguel Cabrera. An amazing career, deservedly so. Five hundred home runs. Uh, you know, three thousand hits. Not many guys have done that. It's like him, Henry Aaron, and I think Willie Mays. Maybe, maybe I don't even know if Willie. I think Willie has three thousand. But the question that I do have uh, about this, or I thought about this, was. Should they lower the bar instead of 3,000 hits? Should it be lower? Because it doesn't seem like a lot of people are confident. If people are asking this question, could guys, could another guy get to 3,000 hits? Should we just lower the bar instead? Should we just say, like, well, you know, if guys aren't getting to 3,000, should we just lower the bar bars of, of milestones? Should we say, oh, if it's not 3,000, well, let's say 2,500. If a guy gets 2,500, we'll treat it the same as 3,000. 
it, it's a is it a fair question? You tell me out there. Is that a fair question? I mean, my answer is no because there are guys that can still get there. There are guys uh, that are young. Uh, they're extremely young, and then there are guys that are uh, in their primes right now that still have a shot. And we can look at, you know, and, and the fact that it just happened, too. It just happened. Um, but we can look at Manny Machado. Manny Machado is, tw- I think Machado's 29. I had, I had it right in front of my face. Yeah, Machado's 29. He's at just over 1,400 hits. Um, he could get there. He could. It's possible. Do I think he's going to get there? I don't know. I mean, look, with the with the addition of the designated hitter in Major League Baseball, like maybe maybe he gets there. Maybe Manny does get there. Uh, Trout, Trout's D, uh, I don't know how often Trout is DH'd, um, but Manny could get there. Manny could with the addition of the DH. Mike Trout, he's 30 years old now. Uh, he just hit a freaking uh, a triple, uh, a check swing triple. Uh, maybe he do, maybe he is going to do it. Maybe that check swing triple is just an indication of him saying like, "Duh, I'm going to get there." Um, I mean, the whole my whole thing with Trout is like, yeah, he can get there, but uh, it's all about um, staying healthy because the last year or two he hasn't been able to stay healthy. And you know, fingers crossed that Mike Trout stays healthy. That that is the hope. That's that's hope for all of us. All of us as baseball fans, we want to see Mike Trout stay healthy. We want to see him stay healthy because great for the sport, best player in the sport. Uh, bless, you know, arguably best player in the last 10 years, um, has the ability to possibly be better than Mickey Mantle, be one of the greatest players of all time. You know, he's on pace. I don't like the people that are that say he's already the best ever because that you can't say that when he's in the middle of his career. Like, we're, we're not doing that. He doesn't have the accumulative numbers. I understand he already has a, a war over, I think, over 75, I believe. But, but uh, like, I don't. But the, the point is here, like, yes, Trout can still get there. I, I don't want to go too off track here. Like, yes, Trout, Mike Trout can still get to 3,000 hits uh, depending on uh, if he can stay healthy. That's the only thing I have with Mike Trout is can he stay healthy? Um, and then you have Jose Altuve, uh, just over 1,700 hits. But the downside here is that he's 30. I don't want to say downside, but uh, Manny's 29, Trout's 30. Jose Altuve. 32 years old he's 32 so a little older uh a little older than trout machado um if altuve if i said he was a few if he was a few years younger i'd say he's definitely getting there uh because he's won batting titles um you know he's proven to be one of the better hitters in baseball over the last decade uh i'd say if altuve was like 29 30 years old um Maybe even maybe even a year less, but I don't know if a year less really changes anything. But the fact that he's 32, it's going to be tough. We'll see. We'll see the next couple of years. Even even then, if he stays healthy the next couple of years, it's hard. It's hard to it's hard to really to really gauge a Altuve just because of his age. So, but I mean, the best chance there for me would probably be Trout, just the, how magnificent he is, and uh, because of um, you know the only thing is with him is his health. And I'm just going to say Trout just because I want him to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, you can make the tr- case for Machado with the DH and everything, but you know, Trout will, Trout's going to DH as well. So it's not going to matter. So we'll see. We'll see Trout Machado. Um, but I'd probably go with Trout. Um, but even going lower down with age, even, even looking at Juan Soto, who's looking like the next, what did I say earlier in the last video and earlier in this video, he's looking like Barry Bonds light. That's what he's looking like. So Soto, Soto can definitely get there. The only problem is Soto walks a lot. <laughs> That's the only issue is Soto walks a lot. We'll see how healthy he stays over the longevity of his career. And that's the, really the thing with all these players is just the longevity and staying healthy. Um, Soto can get there. He just walks too much. That's my issue with Juan Soto. He just walks too much. Um, Ronald Acuna Jr., it's another one. Uh, Acuna, amazing talent. Amazing, amazing, amazing talent. Uh, power, speed, hitter, on base, everything. Everything with Ronald Acuna Jr. Incredible talent. Hopefully he stays healthy going forward. That's the thing. Like I said with Trout, Acuna's got to stay healthy. Um, could he get to 3,000? It's possible. Uh, Tatis, Health. It's a huge thing with Fernando Tatis Jr. Amazing. Similar with Acuna. Amazing talent. The issue is going to be, can he get there 
because of his health. That's the issue. It's just the health. That's the only issue. And then Vladdy Guerrero Jr., amazing talent. Uh, You see the theme here, right? Amazing talent with all four of these guys. But the reason why we shouldn't lower the milestone, the, 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 the level of these milestones, like 2,500 hits, because these guys all have a chance to do it. And maybe in the next like 15 to 20 years, if guys aren't doing it, if, if, if no one's doing it, then we can say 2,500. Do you agree? Do you agree out there? I don't. It's quite possible. It is quite possible. But, uh, but Vladdy, Tatis, Soto, and Acuna, I think all had the potential to get there. And we're going to see, you know, over the next decade plus, if they can really get there. And obviously we can't uh, predict the future. We can't predict uh, what each one of these guys is going to do within the next uh, 10 to 15 years. I mean, their potential is unbelievable. They've all, they, all four of these guys have had incredible seasons. Vladdy last year, Soto the last, since he's broken in the majors. If it wasn't for Bryce Harper, if it wasn't for, you know, uh, Tatis, maybe he does win MVP. Um, but you could have made the argument that Soto could win an MVP. So um, Acuna, he had, he's had incredible years. I think back in 2019, 2019, that, uh, and his rookie year, I mean, Almost had a 40-40 year. I think that was 2019. Um, I mean, and Tatis has already he had an incredible year in last year. <laughs> uh, I mean, and the years he got hurt, he still was incredible up until those points. Um, so these guys all have legitimate chances to be 3,000-hit guys. They, they have the chance. So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm ready to lower the bar when it comes to uh, – when it comes to this milestone, I'm not there yet. I'm not there or right now. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm still there on 3000 hits. I'm still there. I'm not ready for 2,500, but let me know what you think out there. Let me know. Do you think that, uh, should we lower that milestone already? Cause you think no guy's ever going to get there. We're going to say, Oh, 2,500. It's gotta be 2,500. Should it be 2,500 or are you sticking with 3000? Are you sticking with 3000 hits? Should it be 3000 still? Are you like me? Are you saying, oh, um, some people got to, you know, these hitters got to prove it to me that they can't hit, uh, you know, like uh, they can't get to 3,000 like they used to. And, you know, the game's changing. It's, uh, you know, it's changed over the last 15, 20 years. You know, we realize batting average and uh, putting the ball in play isn't as important as we thought it was because home runs and walks are king right now. So, so, uh, so look, look, man, let me know. Let me know. Or even if you don't see it, are you saying, oh, we should never, we should never lower the uh, milestones because we should never do that. That's so stupid. Are you a baseball player? Are you a out like this? You might be. You might be. I'm not coming at you, but you might be. So, <laughs> so look, man, should we lower the bar? Should we not? Let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Like, dislike it if you want to, whatever. Do all that stuff. Uh, until then. This has been another episode of The Shift on YouTube. Go listen to The Shift podcast, baby. Apple, Spotify. See you guys next week.